All right, guys, this is James with Duke Vending. Um, been in the game about two months. Got about 10 machines, about six locations. And I uh, figured I'd, you know, start maybe doing some YouTube videos and helping people along the way and going over what I found out and things that have helped me. Um, today we're going out and we are servicing a machine that I, my first machine I ever bought. It's at a uh, little auto care place. Um, so we're gonna go check it. Hopefully it's got a little bit empty. It's been about a month since I checked it. I usually don't wait that long, but um, I was out on vacation and it, it usually is a pretty slow location. So um, we're gonna go check it. And then we also have uh, two snack and two soda machines that I bought last week at location. So we'll go check them, put my locks on them. guys so we're almost here at the first stop which again was the first mini machine I ever bought can't wait to get in here and see what it needs um, got my stuff in the back of the truck this one we just have a snack machine it's an AP 112 just cash and change no credit card um, we're about to pull up so let's see uh, let's see what we're walking into on this one Alright guys, so we are here at the location. Let's go ahead and check and see what all we brought. Here's the location right here. Nice little quick loop. Alright guys, so I finally got her filled up. Let's see what she's got. Not too, too bad. Let's check the coins. Not too bad at all. Just getting in the truck. Looks like we had $41 of cash in that machine. And like I said, it's definitely not, you know, the best location. Um, <laughs> it's the first one I ever bought and the lady told me you know, it does a hundred dollars of sales a month and that's just not true. So whenever you're buying machines, you know, just look out for that. Whatever people tell you it does, you know, try to either go with them on a couple collections to see or uh, have them show you some sort of, you know, spreadsheet. But um, $41 and I haven't counted the change yet. It looked like maybe 10 to $15. I'll count it and, uh, you know, update y'all. But, um, it was a lot more empty than I thought. So, got some new stuff in there. Got a Sour Patch Kids. Got some Sour Skittles. Uh, some new chips. They love chips at that location. So that's their biggest. Uh, their biggest want is chips. Need to work on getting them more and different flavors. But uh, now we're headed to the four machines I bought last week that were already on location. These ones are going to be at a concrete plant. Um, and we will see how they look. Enjoy the ride. All right, guys, so we're here at our second location. Again, this is the one that I bought last week. It's got a Coke and a snack machine, and it is here at a concrete plant. And both of these that I bought are at the same company. This one's a little bit of the slower store. The other one's a little bit busier, the guy said. All right, so here's the snack and drink machine. Looks like it's got a few out. 
Here is the drink machine. All right, I'm gonna get in there, fill them up, and then we'll see how they did. All right, so we're gonna check this Pepsi machine. I already got it popped open. Looks like Cokes is sold out. And RC might be getting a little low. Other than that, don't look too bad. Let's go ahead and see how we did. And it was just checked last week, so. For just being checked a week ago, I don't think that's too bad. Again, I've only owned these about a week. See if there's any coins in there. Uh, not too, too bad. There we go, that's from the Coke machine. We still have to check the snack machine. Let's go ahead and check it. All right, slings out like that. Not too, too bad. Alrighty, so like I said, I did buy these machines last week. So I need to change the keys in them. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And get that done. All right, so we're changing these locks, put in my own locks. What you want to do is you want to put the key in, pull it out, and find this little piece that the key moves up and down. You want to turn the key. Only got two hands, so it might be a little bit difficult. All right, so you want to find it like like that. You want to get a knife or a screwdriver. You want to push down this little piece right here and right there it'll pop out and you just pull the old tumbler out of it and you want to take your new tumbler. I buy them off the internet super high security locks. All right, you wanna take your new one, you wanna put your key in, and you wanna turn it to where that little paddle goes almost all the way down, and you're gonna to wanna to insert it into the hole, and boom, you're done. So now my new Tumbler has locked in there, and it's my key that opens and moves the lock. Alrighty, now I'm gonna do it on the snack machine. It's gonna be the same exact way. You're gonna push that little lever in, and then it should be good. Alrighty, these machines are fully stocked. I have this out of another Pepsi machine I got. And uh, it wasn't taking change, so I wanted to see if I put it in there if it would work, or if not, and it didn't. So now I know that this is bad. I'll be ordering a replacement one for that, so we can get our other Pepsi machine on location. All right, guys. All right, guys, we are leaving our second location. We're gonna head to the third location. I don't know if they are still open, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this to wrap it up, just in case they're not. Um, that one had $53 just in cash. And like I said, it was checked a week ago. And um, three slots that were empty today were empty whenever I got it. So, I mean, I think that's pretty good news considering my other one that we checked, the first one was there for over a month. Um, and it had 40 something dollars just for my 53. Uh, it was a Coke and a snack versus just a snack. But again, that was one week. So I'm super excited. I just got that machine in that location. So ready to see what that one can do. Um, 
Thanks again for checking out our first video with Duke Vending. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment in the comment section right below. Thank y'all so much for checking it out. Y'all have a good one.